sooner or later, everyone ends up creating a CLI or two or three. For most of us, that is a shell script used to automate execution of some commands. But what if you want to create a CLI that is more than just a bunch of commands? What if you want to create a CLI or command line interface that is used by humans? It might need to have prettier outputs, some inputs, a bit of formatting, some choices, and so on and so forth. When we get to that point, we often start thinking about using a real language like Go or Python or whatever you prefer, right? Most of the third-party CLIs we might be using right now are written in one of those languages. KubeCuttl, Jcloud, Helm, Docker, and so on and so forth. All those and most of the other CLIs we use right now are written in one of the real languages. When we need something serious, we turn away from Bash scripting to other languages. I am not an exception. I wrote my share of shell scripts, but also quite a few CLIs lately, mostly in Go. Shell scripts work great when a limited number of commands should be executed without any interaction. CLIs written in other languages are a better choice when there is a greater complexity or greater user interaction. But, and here's a big but, it does not have to be that way. As a matter of fact, there are quite a few cases when I need user interaction, but I do not want to go through the trouble of writing a CLI in Go or Python or whichever language I or you might prefer. So, today I want to explore ways to create shell scripts that look and feel like proper CLIs. I need something relatively simple, but also something that can be used to create a CLI that is used by humans, like the one watching this video right now. I want to create proper CLI experience by writing shell scripts. I want a way to do it fast and easy, but with awesome, awesome user experience. Let me give you a bit of background. Among many other things, I produce videos on YouTube. You already know that, right? You're watching one of them right now, right? Now, most of the videos come with gists split into three sections, setup, demo, and destroy. I exclude the boring part of setup and destruction from the videos, but I do provide the instructions how to do that in gists. There is one in the description of this video as well. So, go and check it out. Depending on the topic, the setup and destroy sections can be only a command or two, or they can be quite, quite longer. There are cases when there are hundreds of lines of instructions, like in the case of the video I'm working on right now, which you should be able to watch a week after this video is published, maybe two, something like that. There are commands you can copy and paste. There are instructions to do certain operations through consoles. There are input prompts and so on and so forth. It's a bit of a mess and your experience might not be the best. So I decided to do something about it. I wanted to give you a better experience. I wanted to create CLIs for that and all the upcoming videos. So instead of following often lengthy instructions, you could just run a command and let the CLI do the rest. However, and this is a big one. Creating a CLI for each video in Go would be a overkill. On the other hand, it would be just as complicated to create a CLI in Bash since it requires things that cannot easily be done in Bash. I want pretty outputs. I want to be able to ask for user inputs. I want to be able to format the outputs. I want to allow you to choose from some options and so on and so forth. And that's where Charm Gum comes in, swoops in. Charm Gum is one of the projects within the Charm family. And Charm is a collection of tools for building, and I'm quoting from their website, beautiful command line interfaces. And it's probably one of the most underrated groups of projects I know of. Everything, everything they do is absolutely amazing. Charm is my first stop whenever I need to do something extra 
related to command line interfaces. VHS, for example, allows me to create animated GIFs by executing a command or a script. SoftServe is a simple Git server I can launch from the command line. Charmlibs is a collection of Go libraries that convert boring CLIs into absolutely awesome ones, and so on and so forth. Charm is a collection of quite a few tools that make your life easier when it comes to creating awesome CLIs or working from a command line. But today I will not have time to go through everything that Charm has. Instead, I want to focus on one of the projects called Charm Gum as a way to create glamorous shell scripts. So let's start by seeing it in action first. Look at this script. It's a normal script, SH script, yet at the very beginning, I ask people for inputs. Hey, are you ready to start? Say yes or no. I have a table of requirements nicely formatted with name required and more info. I have a, another question. Hey, do you want, do you have those? Not do you want, do you have those tools installed? Which by the way, is something I should solve as well, but that would be a separate subject. I also have uh, some choices instead of uh, yes or no. Hey, do you want to use Google or AWS or Azure? There are user inputs like, what is the name of your GitHub organization? And so on and so forth. So this is a simple shell script, yet it looks and it behaves like a proper CLI with inputs, with outputs, some commands executed in between all this and some choices giving you to choose from and everything nicely output and presented on a screen and so on and so forth. From the user perspective or from the perspective of somebody executing these scripts, this looks and feels like a proper, like an awesome CLI, even though it's just a shell script. So how do they do that? Well, let me show you. Actually, I do not even need to show you the script. I can show you the commands that I used and later on we can jump back into the script. So let's take a look at some of the commands, if not all, that Charm Gum offers. So let's say that I want to show some output, but nicely formatted, something that looks good and not uh, like an average, uh, you know, output from a terminal screen. So let's say that I want to have different colors, that I want to have a frame around some text so that it's clear that this is something important. How would they do that? Well, it's actually simple. I can use charm style that has certain arguments like foreground color is 212 and border background is also 212 and I want double border and I want margins and I want some paddings and the text is, here is some text, etc., etc., etc. right? And when I execute that command, I have things nicely formatted. Now, there are many other arguments that I could have used, but you get the point, right? I can uh, provide text with certain stylish features. If I need some input like yes or no, true, false, I can execute something like gum. I want you to confirm something with the text, are you ready? And then the output of that can be passed to end end echo, he's ready, pipe pipe, echo, he's not ready. Meaning that the, it's either true and then this will be the set of commands and this is just simple echo or it, the output is false and then it's something else, something else is executed. So let's see it in action, right? If I say yes, the output is he's ready and if I execute the same command, and say no, the output is he's not ready. In other words, I have true, false, yes, no type of prompt. And depending on the outcome, I can execute one set of commands or another set of commands, or maybe exit the script. I can also use markdown or I can use markdown format to get nice output. So let's say that I want to have a text with some header like you will need following tools installed and then markdown formatted table. And if I pipe all that to gum format, it will figure it out 
and format it properly as any other markdown viewer and you can see here that i have a header and i have a table nicely formatted table in the output i can also ask for user input and assign values of that input to variables like in this case hey github org equals the output of the command gum input and with the text github organization i'm asked for some input i type the input and uh, the command exits and now if i output echo the value of the github org i get that same uh, input or output depending on how you look at it or instead of free text input i can give my users some choices and also store it in a variable so let's say hyperscaler equals whatever is the output of the command gum i want you to choose between google aws azure and then user is allowed to choose one of those and the result is stored in yet another variable in this case hyperscaler if we have some processes that take a while to execute we can also give nice indication that something is happening and people should wait so let's say let's say i can execute gum spin and then choose the type of the spinner in this case line you will see it soon some text or some title and pass the command in this case it's sleep for five seconds but it could be any command right so instead of me trying to figure out what's going on as a user of that uh, CLI, I see a message that says, we are waiting, and then the nice animation over there, whichever animation you choose. Now, I do not use those commands that I showed you, quite a few others directly. Instead, I put them all into a simple, typical shell script. So the script, the setup script for one of the videos that are coming very, very soon is like this and like this means let's output uh, setup.sh and you can see this is a normal script except that it has gum commands in it mixed with normal commands that i would normally have in a shell script you can see here i'm using those same commands i showed before there is gum style because i want to start uh, the process the experience with a nice message and then i ask my users to confirm whether they are ready to start or not. I show them a nice table with all the requirements that are uh, assumed and ask them to confirm again whether they have those tools installed. I give them choices between different hyperscalers and so on and so forth. It's absolutely awesome. But let's, let's talk, let's get away from the demo part and talk about charm. What are the good things? What are the bad things? Should you use it? What's the experience with it? So, um, what can I say about Charm Gum? Here it goes. It's bloody awesome. I love it. It's one of the greatest little tiny tools that uh, very few know of. Actually, everything that Charm does is awesome. And Charm Gum, the one I'm showing today, is absolutely brilliant. It is small and it does what it's supposed to do. There are no cons, there are no negative things I can think of if you want to create an interactive CLI from a shell script. And this ChamGum is based on the same libraries that you can also import into your Go if you want to go beyond shell scripts and choose to uh, write the proper CLI in Go. But until that moment, you can use just uh, gum commands directly in your shell scripts. So, chum gum is not a replacement uh, of a CLI you would normally write in Go or some other real language. But if you need interactions and you need formatting and a few other things, but you do not want to make it any more complicated than writing a shell script then Charm Gum is a great option. There are no cons I can think of. Use it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.